This mod introduces smooth animations when opening GUIs in Minecraft, with the graphical user interface gracefully fading up upon activation. Destroy is an add-on to create, adding new chemicals and chemical processes geared around the production of plastic, build complex chemical plants, manufacture powerful new explosives, or even break bad, but be careful that along the way you are mitigating your effects on the environment and yourself. While playing you will encounter dozens of real-world chemical processes, but with Destroy's tooltips and extensive GEI and Ponder support, even players with zero chemical knowledge will be unhindered. Also, Destroy's flagship feature is its sandbox chemistry system. While other technical mods add machines and recipes based on chemical processes, Destroy actually simulates chemistry on the molecular level. This means that there is rarely a set way of doing things, you are provided with a wide range of reactants and can combine, transform, and extract these in a potentially infinite number of ways to create various molecules, making the chemistry feel less like following instructions and more like playing Minecraft. Destroy also adds a wealth of features that expand upon creates existing systems, such as new kinetic components, processing machines, and lots of curiosities with novel abilities. Believe it or not, a great degree of care actually went into choosing what and what not to put into Destroy. Rather than cramming in gazillions of niche, single-use substances that clog up storage systems, or hundreds of very similar but not quite the same machines which are brain-melting to wrap your head around, compromises have been made between scientific accuracy and player experience. Except in some specific cases, every intermediate substance added by Destroy should have at least two uses and at least two methods for obtaining. Recipes for final products are complicated, but not needlessly complicated. It is hoped that Destroy provides a fun simulation of real-world industrial chemistry, but without needing an actual chemistry degree. Rapscallions and Rockhoppers is a mod that adds and iterates on the concept of the penguin from the 2023 mob boat. Penguins are a new passive mob with two types, the rockhopper penguin can be found in stony shores, whereas the chinstrap penguin can be found within frozen ocean and deep frozen oceans. Penguins have a variety of behaviors associated with them, but the main draw is that they can travel with your boat to speed it up, just make sure to have them eat fish from time to time during their travels, or else they'll stop following and return to the shore they're originally from. Depending on the amount of fish they're fed, they may cough up various rewards when you reach a shore, and there's even an exciting new item to obtain, fish bones. Fish bones are a new material item that can be crafted into bone meal or a boat hook, and the boat hook is a new item that allows you to link boats together or have boats be leashed to a player. A void simulation refers to a computer model that simulates the flocking or herding behavior observed in nature, like the coordinated movement of birds or fish. In the context of this mod, it means fish will exhibit more realistic and dynamic group movements, making your aquatic environments come to life. In particular, each fish will follow three rules. Separation, steer to avoid crowding local flockmates. Alignment, steer towards the average heading of local flockmates. And Cohesion, steer to move towards the average position of local flockmates. This mod displays a timer above dropped items, indicating when they are going to depawn. It's handy for preventing items from despawning unexpectedly because you can now be aware of the time remaining before they disappear. This mod introduces the Nightmare Jar, a sinister twist on the cave dweller. Within the cavernous depths, it lurks, replicating the haunting sounds of its predecessor. Unseen but always present, it patiently waits for the opportune moment to startle and strike. This mod ensures that your journeys into the depths are filled with spine-tingling surprises and ominous encounters. This mod adds a bird which looks similar to a house sparrow, they spawn in forests and fly in flocks. Currently, they serve as ambient creatures, but additional behaviors may be added in future updates. Cat Herder is a mod that expands cat functionalities, akin to doggy talents for dogs. To turn your cat into a cat herder cat, start by taming a vanilla cat with raw fish. Afterward, craft a training treat and use it on your cat. Additionally, you can access the screen by right-clicking on your cat while holding some string in your hand. Once you have your cat herder cat, you will probably want to give it a name, set its mode, 
and assign it some talents. In the wild, you may come across catnip, which proves useful in various recipes and can be given to your cat. This mod also introduces a variety of interactive toys for cats, allowing you to train your feline friends with items. Like yarn balls, dress them in stylish capes and glasses, use radar to locate their positions, or craft cat trees in 16 different colors, and much more. This mod adds 170 more blocks, ranging from clocks, seats, and beds to storage, lights, and decoration. Furniture is created using the DIY workbench, you can place cobblestone, logs, clay balls, and iron ingots in the DIY workbench and select the item to craft, and the DIY recipes can be disabled in the config. There are 30 more clocks with charming textures and unique sounds, many clocks chime at noon, midnight, or dawn. Best of all, the clocks tell accurate time. Enjoy 20 more seating options, ranging from stools to chairs to sofas. Finally, you can come home from a hard day of mining and crafting, put your feet up, and relax, and some seats can fit two players at a time. Introducing 10 more thematic beds, including double beds and canopy beds, and comfy pillows are always included. Tanuki Decor adds 30 more storage blocks ranging from bedside vanity tables to 2x2 armoires, most of these blocks can store a double chest worth of items, you can choose the one that fits best and say goodbye to ugly chests and barrels. Tanuki Decor also adds lights and many miscellaneous, allowing you to improve your home with over a dozen cozy lighting options. This mod introduces a compass capable of locating mobs, blocks, or containers based on their contents. The compass has its own inventory size of 9 slots, and always points to the object closest to the player. Additionally, the mod is compatible with JEI, allowing you to search for items directly from its panel, and it is mostly compatible with other mods. You can disable or customize most features, such as the search radius or the experience cost for searching, in the configuration file. Also, a pointer on the compass texture will indicate whether the search target is above or below. Pescatori adds a new fishing minigame that is completely separate from the vanilla mechanic, taking inspiration from various Animal Crossing titles. To get started, craft a rookie rod using a regular fishing rod as the base. Cast it like normal and you'll soon see a fish shadow orbiting around your bobber, then just wait for a bite and hold to reel it in. The mod adds 16 unique fish to catch, each with their own rarity and behavior, such as orbit range, striking speed, nibble amount, etc. Also, it adds 3 new equipment pieces, each with special effects, and plentiful new foods to cook. This is a fork of the crafting station mod, with added JEI support. Players with JEI can now get the plus icon on their crafting station to import a recipe. This is a fabric port of Epic Samurai, the mod adds new 3D Samurai armor sets and weapons. Leewin's Third Person is a client-side mod that provides an improved third-person perspective. This mod enables you to toggle between first-person and third-person perspectives with the F5 key, and use caps lock to switch left and right. Additionally, holding caps lock can center the view. While holding Z, you can move the mouse to adjust the camera offset, and use the mouse wheel to adjust the camera's distance from the play. This mod introduces the Potion of Water, which can be crafted by combining an awkward potion with a bucket of water. Upon consumption, your character will instantly transform into a blob of pure water, complete with a matching fluid simulation. It allows you to enjoy numerous benefits, such as immunity to most forms of damage and the ability to effortlessly navigate through tight spaces.
Revamped Piles is a mod that aims to remaster the vanilla structures in the game, by keeping the general design and maintaining the same vibes while adding as many details and decorations. The main purpose of the mod is to improve the structures and make them feel more lively without changing the design too much and staying loyal to Minecraft's original designs. The mod may use some inspirations from real life, but it will not include any religious or race-based features explicitly or directly. Also, it adds a total of 150 new blocks, including decoration blocks and functional blocks. Fast Trading is an updated fork of Speed Trading, it adds a button to the Villager Trading GUI to repeat the current trade until it's no longer available. This mod is a 1.20 port to Glassential, the mod adds a bunch of cool glasses to Minecraft. Luminous Glass is a glass that emits light, just like Glowstone. Redstone Glass emits a strong redstone signal, just like a block of redstone. Ghostly glass is a glass that non-solid to all entities of any kind. Ethereal glass is a glass that non-solid to players. Reverse ethereal glass only solid to players and fluids. No see no tick is a configurable performance mod that increases entity performance by stopping ticks based on distance. The mod allows up to 4 times performance increase in large mod packs by disabling entities ticking that are too far away from the player, with a configurable distance and blacklist. Stabs Modern Guns has added 4 new guns in the latest update. Additionally, all the guns can be equipped with attachments. Crate Delight is an add-on for Farmer's Delight, the mod adds more food crates and bags for Farmer's Delight and safe storage. This mod introduces a new glider, allowing you to gracefully soar across the skies and preventing fall damage when activated with the space key while midair. The glider needs to be equipped in the accessory slot, so it won't take up your chestplate slot. This mod is an add-in mod for Cobb Lemon that adds functional PCs from different Pokemon regions. It allows you to use 7 brand new, detailed PC variants to help capture the style of every Pokemon region, or to immerse yourself in a nostalgic representation of one of your favorite Pokemon games. The PCs all function just like the one included in the base mod, only with custom-made models based entirely off of real PCs used in the games. Pottery is a mod that adds 5 types of new decorative pots, allowing you to dye the decorative pots in different colors. Applying colors, pots can either be crafted with a dye or you can right-click them with a dye to change their color. Clearing colors, a pot's color can be washed off using a cauldron, simply right-click the pot on a cauldron filled with water. Exchanging sherds, pottery allows you to easily exchange sherds on pots, and you will receive the old sherd back. This mod aims to expand and overhaul the caves and cliffs updates, there are now many new uses for copper, amethyst, skulk, goats, and archaeology. There are 5 obtainable clay relics, each using the explorer, arms up, danger, miner, and angler pottery sherds. You can also now use 2 leather and 4 terracotta to craft an archaeology table, which works as a workbench for a new villager profession the archaeologist. Villagers using the archaeology table offer trades related to archaeology, exchanging armor trims, pottery sherds, and minerals for emeralds. Goats now have a chance of dropping their pelt when killed, the pelt can be used to reinforce a shield and give it extra durability. It can also be used to craft goatskin boots, which are very durable, and also offer two armor points of protection and jump boost effect. Eight amethyst shards can now be crafted into an amethyst gem. 
These gems can be used to make the Amethyst Sword, a new weapon. The Amethyst Sword deals 12 damage, but shatters instantly after used. Players can craft Amethyst Lenses, which can then be used to craft the Tinted Copper Goggles. When worn, the Tinted Copper Goggles grant the player with night vision, but will also tint the screen in an amethyst color. Or pouches can hold up to 9 stacks of ores, and make mining expeditions much more convenient. Echo Shards can now be used in a smithing table to turn iron armor into skulk armor. The skulk armor is similar to netherite armor, but will turn invisible at night. Also, players can now find the chambered nautilus in warm ocean and coral reef biomes, they drop a nautilus shell when killed. Crafting a gilded nautilus shell is possible by using a nautilus shell in a crafting table. When activated, it produces a sound that stuns nearby piglins and piglin brutes, enabling players to make a quick escape from challenging situations. The applewood grove is a new biome that can now generate in the overworld. When crafted into planks, applewood resembles oak wood, but has a paler, more aged look to it. Surrounding a feather with gold ingots in a crafting table can now craft a golden feather. When a player is falling, they can right-click a golden feather to freeze themselves midair. Additionally, you can now craft a bamboo flute. When the bamboo flute is in the main hand of a player, they can use the keys to play notes. Mutagen is a mod that allows you to brew a new kind of splash potion, which can be used to turn peaceful mobs into useful mutated versions. Mutants are typically enlarged mount versions of peaceful mobs, and salmon are a versatile underwater mount. Make sure to bring water breathing equipment, you might have an underwater mount but you're on your own for oxygen. Crystals is a small mod available for both forge and fabric, adding new crystals that generate on top of ores such as redstone, lapis, emerald, and diamond, each crystal drops the corresponding mineral. Glide Away is a fabric mod that enables you to use your hang glider, allowing you to glide away from dangers. The hang glider functions similarly to the elytra, but with a slower gliding speed. Additionally, the mod introduces the wind in a bottle, allowing you to create updrafts that keep the hang glider ascending. This mod introduces the skewed lantern, crafted by placing a sea lantern between two scots and filling the remaining slots with kelp. The skid lantern is a variant of the sea lantern, can be placed on water and gently bobs up and down. Toggle Chat is a Minecraft mod for fabric that toggles the chat visibility with a key binding. Decorative Entities is a mod with a variety of entities to decorate your house, it has a total of 57 different entities. To craft the entities, start by crafting the frame on the crafting table, and then use the crafted frame on the stone cutter to complete the entity crafting process.